everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time watching and today we're moving on to the digital box archetype how does it play couldn't tell you but let's go let's go digital box in cyberspace The rapid progress of cyber networks has brought great benefits to humanity. They are now in an integral part of our lives. However, the rapid progress and change left several minor bugs in the corners of the network. Initially, they were just meaningless data with little impact. However, the bugs accumulated data, progressively learned over time. And by the time we'd noticed, they'd taken on the appearance of insects. Experts theorize that their primary objective are, objectives are proliferation and evolution. Despite their differing qualities, the, the peculiar thing is they act as if they were one species with a singular purpose. In our world, we observe a symbiotic relationship between ants and aphids in which ants drove away ladybugs, the aphids' natural enemy, to obtain nectar from the aphids. However, ants and aphids are different species whose objectives don't align. Might it be that the bugs were born of a singular datum and only because their appearances differ are they assumed to be different species? It will take some time to get to the bottom of this. In any case, we cannot overlook the bugs spreading throughout the network. Whoa. Network administrators have come to refer to these defects who've achieved rapid growth and evolution as digital bugs. Henceforth, they've taken action to exterminate these defects. Okay, well if you don't hate bugs, this is not going to be the episode for you. Because even though they're digital, they're still bugs. So how do these things play? What makes digital bug deck unique? By exceeding some insect type exceeds monsters with digital bug monsters as their material, you can grant them a range of effects. This deck also allows you to change the levels and further stack materials to keep exceeds summoning to bring out more powerful monsters, including rank 3, 5 and 7 exceeds monsters. Nice. <laughs> Bug outbreak. Try summoning digital bug web solder. So spider. It's just a spider. Activate the effect to get ready to exceed summon. So I changed that position to summon that I'm guessing. Scary D eight what? Oh, is it like is it like a scarab? I don't know. I'm not that big a fan of bugs. Attacking my opponent's life points directly. Oh, and that's why they give me a quick play spell so I can attack, then use my quick play spell to special summon an XCs. So, so it ranks up into a rank 5, and because it's still in the battle phase, I can then attack again. I, I like that. That's good in this situation especially. Okay, so now let's try and actually play a duel with them. I'm hoping I can do it. How efficiently I'll be able to is a different story. I just noticed in Twin Twisters it's a um, magical hats. 
I thought that said liar wire for a second. Uh, what? No. I thought I cl click clicked on you. Okay, I uh, can use. When you're normal summon a level 3 and someone's like special summon, okay? Can I... You can tell you one tap position, you can change the defense and if you special summon. Activate you. Don't activate you yet. Let's go to level 7. Change you. Uh, let's go. Oh, I could go for number, but I'm. I could go for a number monster, but I want to stick with my digital bugs. Let's activate Twin Twisters. Okay. Um, if this card attacks once once per turn during the player's turn, you can detach one material, destroy face of card, destroy face of monsters. Yeah, I'll do that. Detach you. And then I'll use you to get rid of the back there. Okay. Why do you have more attack? Ah, uh, no, I don't know. I'm going to attack you directly. And... Does your attack go back down? I, I don't know. No. Why did you? I don't know why your attack changed. Oh, bug matrix. Oh, in some ones you can jog in 300 attack Ah, oh, that's so close. See, I can't even add the other effect because I don't have any cards in my hand. And I end. This is going to be a quick one. Oh, I've just jinxed myself, haven't I? I just said it's a quick one. It's not going to be a quick one anymore. Okay. I'm going to attack you directly just because. Oh, wait, I forgot it still deals damage, doesn't it? Even though it's in the fence. <laughs> well. That certainly was fast. Now let's finish up the lore, shall we? The digital bugs are pests that devour the cyber networks. The network administrators concluded and implemented a large scale removal plan. The removal plan, which mainly involved network engineers, was successful and they eradicated the digital bugs. The defects were fixed and peace was, was restored. However, the peace was short-lived. The cybernetic network became more vulnerable than before the offense, the offense was launched. Some digital bugs appeared to have survived the attempts at eradication. The engineers who suspected this conducted a thorough scan. Naturally, they found no digital bugs. Meanwhile, waves of interference swelled globally. What could be the cause of the problem? What changed so much before and after the interference? The answer was clear. It was the existence of a digital bug. After some deep deliberation, the engineers decided to release the source digital bug data back into the network. The decision immediately shed lights on the perplexing obstacle. There was only one explanation. The digital bugs repaired fatal errors and helped stabilize the network. It was almost as if they were in a symbiotic relationship between humans and the digital bugs. By providing a place for bees to live, 
humans can get their honey. Similarly, by providing a cybernet for digital bugs, the defects are extinguished. Since then, those that cause noticeable disturbances are removed, but, through remo but thorough removal is avoided. Humans have decided to coexist with digital bugs. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. No, I don't want to go to the shop. Well, thank you all for watching, and I do hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. And I will see you next time. Have fun.